Hey friend, and welcome back to RGD Gaming, least toxic, most fun commuter in all gaming. Have you ever wanted to pick an off meta champ, but you're afraid your team will flame you, you won't get rotations from your jungle, or someone's going to AFK? Well, I'm going to show you how you can pick the champ you want and are most comfortable with, even if they're off meta. In this draft, you're going to see that that guy says half, so you'll see what I'm typing. I let them know I'm an ADC, I'm going to pick an ADC here and run it in top, and this is basically what I have to do in order to win games. And I'm letting them know, like, I suck with all the top champions, and I'm going to lose if I don't play somebody that I'm comfortable with or good with. And also that I've done this before. So I don't just blindly do stuff like this. I let my team know, hey, this is what I'm doing. Now, this is why I'm doing it. And if I go the other way or I do what you want, I'm going to suck at it. You'll see also at one point that they say, just play a tank. Well, Garen is a tank, and I'm terrible with him. Uh, so I don't really want to play him. Let me, I'm going to let you in on a secret here. For nearly every player in Wild Rift, the meta doesn't matter. Now, don't get crazy and play Braum in the jungle, uh, but I think you'll understand my point by the time I explain this. So give me a minute. Now, meta matters when you're playing at the top echelon of Wild Rift. Uh, if you're playing professionally, you need those little edges where maybe a champion might be one two or three percent better than another one and so you need to play what is on meta or what is um, best in the game at the moment but if you're just bad with that champion and you can't play it very well it's not going to matter like a champion could literally be broken but if you've never played them and you don't know how to use them it's not going to matter and you're still going to lose and so um I could play Garen, who I have a 47% win rate, or I could play Kaisa, who I have a 55% win rate on. And so who do you think I'm going to have a better chance at winning this game? Now, ironically enough, um, they, they play, you know, not that Senna's necessarily an ADC, but he's kind of an ADC as well. Uh, so it was weird that they decided to do that as, as well, but um, it happened, and fortunately I don't have to play the Senna with Garen, who is not a ranged champion, and I really don't know how to play it. Um, so I could play Kai'Sa, who I'm very comfortable with, and you'll see what I'm doing. I'm playing relatively safe, um, trying not to do anything too crazy. The thing that you don't want to do is die early when you're doing something like this, or give up a big lead really quickly to the enemy. So you don't really want to get rooted, and you want to dodge their abilities, like I'm not. Uh, but I think you get the point. When you're doing something that's a little off, you need to sort of prove to your team that it works and that you've done it before in order for them to trust you and you know want to play with you and, and not just you know go afk because that will happen if you pick an off meta champion and you just start running it down you know you're gonna lose so here you can see i'm just trying to farm up stay out of senna's range keep an eye on the map and unfortunately one of our champions goes down tristana goes down but that's okay um, so, gee, or I'm sorry, just then I got the kill. Um, so I'm just trying to poke this Senna, hang back. What I really want to happen is the wave to push onto my side so I can freeze it there. Uh, but unfortunately, my first ability makes that very hard to do um, because I'm trying to get in there and farm. And now I've got Jin pretty close. And what I want to do is hopefully bait this Senna into a fight because they do have the advantage right now. They have a little bit more life and they're playing kind of aggressive. So I should be aware of that. And you'll see what I'm doing here is I'm engaging. I exhaust them. And now I've got a rotation from Jin and watch what happens. Okay, Jin gets a good rotation, is able to get a kill. I'm able to clear this wave and I just want to clear this and then get out of here. And I'm going to get a reset in. And now, I, you saw real fast, I typed good gank. Because I want my jungle to know that, that was a, he did a good job. And I also want him to come back and gank my lane again. Because it takes a lot of faith for him to be ganking my lane when I'm playing this champion that's off meta. So again, you need to be aware of this. And you do need to adjust your game a little bit uh, to allow your teammates to start to believe in you. Um... You just, you don't want to, like I said, you don't want to go behind early. You don't want to do anything too crazy. And, and that can be difficult if you're playing a champ that needs to get ahead early. So I can understand why you might, that might happen sometimes. Um, but I think the point I'm trying to make about playing a champion you're comfortable with is this Kais is going to be so much better for me. 
And if you want to play a champion that really doesn't fit the role, like if you want to play an ADC in mid, I play Kai'Sa in mid. I played Misfortune in mid. And the reason I do that is because I'm not that great with any of the champions in mid. Um, so we've got another gank coming. Let's see if we can get there. I don't think we're gonna... Oh, but maybe. Let's see. It's gonna be... Nope. He's gonna get back under tower. He actually did a lot of the damage to Jin. Um, so now I'm gonna set up a little bit of vision there. And... Let's see if I take this jungle camp. Now while well, I got a little bit of time. I quite often take this camp as an ADC. Uh, so I'm gonna continue to do it um, while I'm playing you know, an ADC in the top. And you want to do that, two reasons you want to do that. First, you want to be, be able to get gold. And the second reason is every time you kill the camp, it comes back stronger. And so you, your teammates get more experience from it. So if it just sits there, it's not exactly the same. And now I see that I've got Vi was rotating towards me, but now she's not. And what I want to do here is reset and watch what I do. Ping that I'm going to Dragon. That's not something that most top players do. They often end up kind of hanging out in their lane. Uh, but I wanted to rotate to top, and now I say that I'm actually heading over to Rift Herald. I was a little bit late there, but that's okay. Uh, I'm really just trying to prove to my team that you know I am in this to win it. So now I'm going over to Rift, but I saw Diana was there. Yeah, and I was able to dodge her ability, which is good. And Senna's pushing... The tower Jin's actually collapsing on him, and we if I can get around there, we can have a three versus two. Vi is right behind me, so this is going to get a little bit dicey. Jin does get the kill, and let's see if we can do this. So yeah, I need to halt and see if I can get the kill there. I'm able to get a kill, and now I need to get out of there. Um, but I, mm, this is, it's going to be close. Yeah, I need to run. And really, I need to get a reset in. I don't think Vi can finish off Rift Herald by the time I get there anyway. Um, so I didn't even wait for my health to go back. And I'm going right back to help Jin and see what we can do with the Rift Herald. Oh. Okay. Oh, this is also bad. I need to flash and get out of there. And I got away with my life two times. That was pretty close. Uh, so now I really just need to head back to my lane and... I'm in a bit of a funny spot because my health is low, but the honey fruit's there, so I should be okay. And let's see if we're able to hold off mid. Yeah, we got a kill on them, and they didn't get mid tower with the Rift Herald, so that's pretty good. Need to dodge Sana's abilities, and let's see what we can do here. And I, what I was doing there, actually, was just checking to see if I could fight Senna. Um, and they're gold, I'm pretty sure. So sometimes you just want to see how much gold they have. That way you know if you can 1v1 them or not. And I decided that I wasn't able to. But still just farming up in my lane. And we got some action in mid. Let's see what happens there. Oh, that's dangerous. One of us goes down. Alistair is in a funny spot there. And what I'm going to do is shove this wave out, because I know I've got a little bit of time. And then after I shove the wave out, I'll have to get a reset. Now oh, there we go. A little bit of surrender action. That's okay. We are down a bit, but we do have dragon. And um, so it's not a big deal, but let's see if we can get to this fight. We do have our ultimate up, so that'll be good. And I do alt in, which was a dicey move, but that can be okay. Because our team's here, and we're able to get a kill there. And we get three of them, and Vi's behind us, so we need to sort of be aware of this, but hopefully we can collapse on her. She can use her first ability to get out of there. There we go, and we get another kill. Okay, so here is another example. We're able to prove to our team that this was going to be a better choice that I pick Kai'Sa rather than some random top lane that I don't know what I'm doing with. Uh, so that went very well for us. We're going to get this tower, and then we should be able to reset. And I'm pinging retreat because the enemy team's probably going to be coming this way. 
and you'll see I did the I did it even faster this time for the recalls uh, I think I did it at six times speed so hopefully you guys like I said you somebody said that they liked it so hopefully you do uh, it just saves everybody a little bit of time and there's no filler then um, so now I shoved out my wave uh, I should be able to take this I should take this red buff and then start looking to see what's going on in mid there although unless we get more people collapsing on it we really don't want to take that fight I need to back off I think Leona should have stunned me there uh, but fortunately she didn't and so now we have a little bit more action and I'm able to alt to the back line but I gotta get out of there I didn't realize Vi was coming um, I do like getting onto the back line when possible with Kaisa, uh, but that was that was probably a mistake there. Actually, I should have held off because now I got to wait a minute before my ultimate comes down off cool off cooldown. Excuse me. And we do have Dragon is up right now, so we do want to be trending in that direction. And let's see if I can get the kill. And unfortunately, Leona gets on top of me, and I am killed. Oh. And by abandons dragon, which may have been a mistake. I really, yeah. As it turns out, 100% was a mistake. They should have focused dragon and got out of there. Um, but now they gave us several kills and dragon. And just let my team know that they did a good job there. And again, trying to trying to reinforce. Uh, I think at this point I've solidified that I'm okay as Kaisa. Uh, but I always do that anyway and try to just let my team know when they do a good job. Uh, it just helps if I make a mistake or they see me make a mistake. I feel like a lot of the times if you've done stuff like tell them good job um, or even you say my bad, they'll give you a pass rather than start flaming you or give up on the game. Um, so same thing again. I This jungle camp's up and so I do want to be taking this. There's not a whole lot. I mean I could shove that wave out. Um, but I do like take the move taking this. Let me reset, and now I can upgrade my third ability. So that way, when I use it, I go invisible. And I should be helping out on this tower. So you'll see here, I'm just waiting a minute. I want Jin to be able to come around behind. Um, we got a little bit impatient there, but I think we're going to be okay. And so you see, I'm able to alt. And Jin gets Tristana. That's fine. Um, I wish I wouldn't have died there, but it happens. And he gets a double kill, so that's perfect as well. And... Now ah, they had two of us went down as well. So, didn't go as well as you know you might have hoped. And Zed's got to get out of there. Yeah. Next thing we're aware of is Baron is spawning in 10 seconds now. Um, so we really want to get some vision on that. I mean, early barons are very tough to do unless your entire team gets wiped, but it is something that you want to be aware of every so often that will happen if, you know, for some reason we all end up on the opposite side of the map. Uh, let's see if Jin's able to get Vi there. That would be nice pick off. Yeah, he's doing great. It's always good when that happens. And now he pings that he wants to take Baron, and so... I am down for this Baron fight. We can take it pretty quickly. Kaisa puts out a lot of damage. And now we do have some action here. At, you know, do we turn and fight this? I, I think so. No, and I get ulted by Diana. So I need to back off. And now I'm in kind of a weird spot because... Okay, so we do get Baron, so that's good. And let's see if we can't get this kill. Nice, we do. Okay, so we get a couple of them. And Alistair is very deep here. Let's see if I can help him. And I'm able to, and now we need to get out of there because Senna has enough health to really cause us a lot of problems. So that went great. We were able to get three kills and Baron. It was really close. That was so in a situation like that, like, you know, people might think like, oh, like that's great, that worked out. That was a coin flip. I mean, we could have easily lost that fight and lost Baron. It just happened to work out that, you know, we got Baron and ended up winning the fight. Uh, but that could have went the other way pretty quickly. Um, oh, and we're able to get another kill, and my ultimate's up. Uh, what I really want to do now that we got that kill is push mid. Um, you can see Vi and Tristana are there. But I see Diana. 
And Leon is not going to really be able to stop me here. And let's see. That's a lot of heal that they got. Uh, but that's okay. So we'll be able to shove this. And they really can't stop us from taking this tower, I don't think. Yeah. Oh, Tristan is here. I need to be careful he doesn't jump on me. Okay, that was pretty close that he jumped. That's okay. Nice. And Jin is behind me. I think he's going to wrap around here. And so I'm able to use stasis. And he's able to clean that up. Uh, so that was a bait. I, I knew Jin was coming. And that I had my ultimate and stasis. So that was a pretty easy bait in order to let him get a kill. And now we're able to finally get this tower that we were waiting for. And I ultimate. And we're able to get Leona. And now they're in a really tough spot with four of them dead. And we've got a lot of action pushing here. Uh, Baron... The Baron buff did wear off, but that's okay. Zed probably needs to back off. Yeah, because he doesn't have a lot of health. And that was good. Um, so that ended up working out really well. And then on my way out, steal a couple jungle camps, which is really hard to do with somebody like Garen. I guess if I was a Teemo, uh, that you know could have been okay. But um, And now we're able to get another dragon. And a fight's breaking out, so I'm trying to get there. Actually, we were able to get four of them right there, and yeah, Leona's not getting out of that. Perfect. And good job, Jin. I, uh, I appreciate that Jin rotated to my lane very early on, and, you know, was able to get a kill there. I think that really greased the wheels for the relationship that we had, and that, you know, we ended up working together. Uh, so, if you're going to pick something off meta... Let your team know, and just be friendly about it, and as long as you're not just totally doing something crazy, I bet they'll be okay with it, and then if you just prove yourself early in the game, you'll have a much better time of picking a champion that you're going to want to play, that you're going to be good with, um, and that you're more likely to win the match with, which is ultimately what you want and what your team wants anyway. So don't be afraid to pick something off meta, uh, because most of the time, if you're better with that champion, it's going to be the best thing. Hopefully I see you on the Rift. GG.